Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Chernovsky here, and today we're going to be talking about Mad Viking Games. First off, I want to say I am not a financial advisor. If you are investing, it's your choice, your decision, so do your own research. Next, if you do like this content, please hit that subscribe and like button. It really does go a long way. Last, I want to thank everyone so much for your support. Thank you to the VFAM. Thank you to the Mad Viking Games community, the Price Chat Thank you all so much for your support. Now let's dive into this video. All right, everybody, let's talk about it. Let's talk about this price and what's going on. So first off, I want to talk to you guys about what this price means. Um, I can't tell you how to invest, but I will tell you what's going on so you understand. So first off, this um, this new price a below a penny is now sitting at 0 0.0081. Now, to me, this doesn't mean anything. I really don't care too much about this price because there's too many factors that change uh, that can happen to change this price. Um, this USD price is dependent on uh, the V chain price, um, people buying Mad Viking Games tokens, and also, sadly enough, what's happening with Bitcoin because Bitcoin affects the V chain price. So, um, so right now. This United, the USD price is dropping, um, but I want to kind of inform you that the Mad Viking Games token is not selling off. So do not panic that people are are selling in mass amounts from Mad Viking Games. So what's really going on here is Bitcoin is dumping. Um, it hit some recent uh, lows um, and. People are um, kind of getting a little papered hands um, and they're selling. And um, I think, in my personal opinion, that some institutional money is just shaking out these paper hands um, and trying to set themselves up for takeoff. That's just that's just my personal opinion. Um, I think um, I'm one of the people who believes we're getting close to that double bottom. We might see some more sell offs. Uh, maybe not a lot. I might see it drop down, um, but I could see this being um, around the new low today. Um, so I think we're in store for some big things with Bitcoin, um, which means uh, V Chain is going to also benefit from that. Now, if we um, are listed on a centralized exchange before that, and we get a United States uh, DT pair or the USDT pair. Um, then we are going to see our own price movement um, not really dependent on um, V chain. Okay, um, so the U.S. dollar price, the the 0.081, um, doesn't frighten me because um, when I go and look back at the V tools um, graph and I look at the uh, MVG to VET chart, um, I see us still sitting at a flat line. Um, so. People are holding. Um, we we aren't having a sell-off. If we were having a sell-off, you'd see these giant red candles like you see here. We're really just kind of seeing um, it stay steady. Now, there are some nervous people, obviously, and we see a little bit of downward pressure. Not a lot, not massive, but this is, this is what's happening with Mad Viking Games. We have people holding. Um, I personally would start seeing potentially people probably buying in a little bit because um, these are some good psychological prices where people who miss getting in under a penny feel like they are um, getting a massive bargain. But and honestly, they are because if they buy V chain now, they're getting a, a discount on their tokens and they can try and jump in and really maximize what's going on. And what that will do is if they buy it now, we'll see this this shrinking and we'll see our charts going up. And then when Bitcoin rebounds, which I I'm, I'm believe it will, um, and it will cause VeChain to go up. And then we will see ours indirectly go up in the USD price that everyone kind of psychologically looks at and, and might be afraid of. So personally, I want to tell, tell people that um, this doesn't worry me um, because I believe in the Mad Viking Games vet um, chart rather than the USD chart because of, again, USD chart being linked to Bitcoin because 
V chain is linked to Bitcoin, and you could see um, these massive drops uh, correlate with that. Okay, um, I hope you all found this helpful. Um, I think there's still a lot of things to be excited for. Um, as again, I said, I, I believe I said this earlier, is that Mad Viking Games is getting a USDT pair with the centralized exchange listing. Um, we do have those partnership announcements. So be patient. Hold through this. Um, big things are to come. Again, I can't tell you how to spend your money. Um, I can just tell you what's going on. So just be aware this price is not happening because of a sell-off of Mad Viking Games tokens. Um, this is happening because of Bitcoin sell-offs. Um, and because of Bitcoin sell-offs, we're seeing some VeChain price drops as well. So be prepared, hopefully, for some nice price action in Bitcoin in the future. I mean, can't get much. I mean, it can get worse, but um, I personally believe it's going to get better. Um, but I could be wrong. Um, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an expert. And to be honest, if anyone does say they are an expert, please just do your own research. All right. Um, hope you all had a great day. I hope you thought this was helpful. I think there's a lot of excitement for uh, Mad Viking Games token in the future. Um, please come and check out the Discord. Um, I will be posting the link in the description below. Um, stay positive, everybody. Um, and I will talk to you next time. Have a great day, week, month, and year.